<laughs> I'm doing girl things. <laughs> what you doing? Make a holes in the boat. We have a panel that separates the, the commode from the shower. Instead of just removing the full panel, which is going to leave a bunch of nasty ends and stuff like that, Katie's going to cut a ship's door hole into the panel and then open up the whole bathroom. Is it a door hole if there's no door? She's got a good point. used to seeing it with a wall there it just looks like a portal to another universe the toilet <laughs> it looks nice though we're in paul from spock's Hi. car and we're going uh, to go run a few errands and just magically out of nowhere this fires up A little Christmas music. <laughs> and to go with it, he's got a screen in here with a fireplace. <laughs> Thanks for the randomness. <laughs> awesome. Okay, bye bye. Thank you very much. Now that's a box that sounds like tarts. Okay, so we got tape. We got tape. We got a little bit more tape. More tape. Got a print on the present under the Christmas tree, man. Are they them? These are them. Oh, that's awesome. That's oh. awesome. Must be Christmas. Must be Christmas. I only needed three. There's, there's six here. Well, maybe we'll Figure run. Out how to sell them, return them. Yeah. Yeah. At least we know they're an item that a lot of people need. Is that what's for breakfast? Yeah, they should just go together super easy. <laughs> oh, no. They updated. They updated the handles, and it is uh, seemingly troublesome at the moment. We'll figure it out. You just got to figure out the system. Sometimes I think Brian wants to work on this for all of eternity. Today is the day we'll get this hatch in and he finished the other hatch. <laughs> <laughs> Doing good. Doing very good. You know, like, there are times where you have to admit to yourself that you're a complete dumb shit. And you have to say it out loud. So the handles are directional and so I figured I had to take it all apart. By the time I got it all apart, it was that instant, oh, mm, and all I had to do was we'll swap the inside handle parts and they would have been fine but now i gotta struggle with this contraption to get the cotter keys back in the posts i just realized you have some eggy on your face i'm sorry sometimes you gotta have egg on your face <laughs> hey man us working fools i don't care about no egg on our face <laughs> this project done done Done. Done. This project. Done. One of the reasons why this project was so important for me to get done is you can see where the basic water line is. And this is just when we're floating. So if there's any movement in the boat, water, etc., like, and these are being replaced when they're in the water, you've got water coming inside. I'm glad they're done. 
The other thing was that we knew that we had a bad gooseneck or a gooseneck that had had some major wear and the gooseneck attaches the boom to the mast and you can see that it's worn really bad down here and these are both I believe just aluminum and because of the weight of the boom that is always you know down it's just been wearing through this more and more and the reason being is because somebody forgot to put a washer on the bottom side to actually let it spin that washer is sitting underneath here it was stupid air and then nobody decided to fix it so now I'm chasing down this piece and this piece I've found them both but I'm waiting for emails got a visit from Waypoint Sales and we got our part. We got our gooseneck assembly. We got our Batman car. Only thing is is it's raining outside which means we're going to be inside. Hopefully we can get it all installed tomorrow. That would be dope. What do you think about that? Yeah. Brian's optimistic, says we'll be done in 25 minutes. I like that optimism. Well, after a semi-successful day, we're going to go watch the sunset. <laughs>